Good afternoon, everybody. I am Councilmember Steve Levin, Chair of the Council's Committee on General Welfare, and today we are holding a vote on Resolution Number 740, calling on the New York City Administration for Children's Services to implement a policy finding that a person's mere possession or use of marijuana does not by itself create an imminent risk of harm to a child, warranting the child's removal. I want to thank uh, Councilmember Carlina Rivera for joining me in bringing this important topic to a hearing in April of this year. Uh, before we proceed, I would like to acknowledge the council members that have joined us, Councilmember Mark Traeger <coughs> of Brooklyn, Councilmember Richie Torres of the Bronx, Councilmember Tony Reynoso of Brooklyn, Councilmember Brad Lander of Brooklyn as well. Um, as New York State contemplates the legalization of marijuana and marijuana, the legalization of marijuana use, uh, marijuana use is being rapidly normalized and it is incumbent upon us to scrutinize how current laws and policies impact families. 15% of the 34,642 allegations that were referred to ACS between July and September of 2018 were for parental or child substance abuse. That is a significant number. While we know that the opioid crisis has heavily influenced these numbers, we also know that a good chunk of these cases were for marijuana use. A child welfare investigation is a huge invasion of privacy and can be a threat to dignity when ACS workers are called and visit, uh, are calling and visiting your child's school, teachers, friends, the super in your building, and neighbors just because you tested positive to marijuana use. We need to ensure that ACS is not wasting its time on bogus reports and that families are not being subject to unnecessary investigations and pressured into unneeded services to prove that they are worthy enough to keep their children. Current, law, current state law is very clear that substance use alone is not cause for indicating a neglect case and that a child's physical, mental, or emotional condition must also be impaired or in imminent danger of becoming impaired due to a a parent or guardian's failure to provide minimum care due to the, quote, misusing of a drug. ACS has previously testified that marijuana use alone is not used to justify removing a child from the home, restrict parental visitation, or keep a child from being reunited with their parents. However, advocates have testified to the opposite being true, and we've heard from parents as well. We need more clarity on this issue with or without legalization. Vague directives lead to wide discretion and this discretion leads to discrimination. We cannot allow for this to continue. Thus, today we are voting on Resolution 740 to call on ACS to make a formal policy change. We must ensure that a person's mere possession or use of marijuana is not used as a justification for a child's removal. I would like to thank council staff for their work to prepare for today's hearing, senior counsel Aminta Kilowan, senior policy analyst Tanya Cyrus and Crystal Pond, and financial analyst Daniel Krupp. I'd also like to thank my legislative director Elizabeth Adams and chief of staff Jonathan Boucher. Um, and I'm going to turn it over to Councilmember Lander for a moment and then I have a, another statement I'd like to make and then, and then we'll call the vote. Thanks. Great. Thank you, Mr. Chair, for uh, your work on these issues and for the very good hearing that you chaired and convened uh, a few weeks or a couple, couple months ago, which I thought was really, we learned a lot at, um, and I think some of the exact discrepancies that you just uh, spoke to. I mean, there's not a formal policy that says um, mere marijuana use or possession is not a reason for child removal. Mm -hmm. You know, the commissioner testified that they don't do it. And yet some lawyers who do this work said that they see it on a, on a somewhat regular basis. So it seemed pretty simple to say, okay, if we're at a moment when we are clear that we may in the near future be, uh, we have, are decriminalizing and maybe legalizing marijuana, where we know nonetheless that there are too high a number of arrests that are in some ways out of our control or allegations that happen anyway, where those are dramatically racially disproportionate and discriminatory, and where there's still concern that in some cases child children are being removed from their parents uh, solely as the result of an allegation of marijuana possession or use, that it's pretty straightforward that it's time for ACS simply to adopt a simple policy um, uh, as outlined in this resolution. Um, something that I wish we had done a long time ago, you know, the resolution mm -hmm. cites some, uh, some time stories from 2010 or 2011, mm -hmm. um, when this was happening hundreds and hundreds of times. So I think it's worth remembering that means not that long ago, 
There was a time when we were conducting a policy of family separation based really only on, on marijuana use and doing it in a way that we all know is deeply racially discriminatory. So uh, I'm sorry we did not correct this sooner. I'm glad that we're pulling in the right direction. I appreciate the opportunity to have this resolution uh, heard and passed, and I hope that ACS will adopt it as clear policy and make sure this is something that does not happen again. Thank you. Thank you very much, Councilmember Lander. And I just want to uh, take a moment to thank uh, a great colleague who's been with the General Welfare Committee um, for a number of years, Tanya Cyrus, who's our senior, senior policy analyst here at the General Welfare Committee. Um, this is his, her last week, and she is going over to the administration for city legislative affairs. Um, and um, certainly our loss is their gain. Um, they are uh, very fortunate to have somebody with Tanya's uh, experience, uh, knowledge of the issues, um, knowledge of the legislative process, um, tremendous uh, work ethic and compassion and um, dedication to the work of uh, government in making the city a better place. And so um, we are going to miss her greatly. We know where to find her. She's just next door at 253 Broadway. Um, but uh, we thank her uh, so much for, uh, for being part of really this, this family. And, um, and uh, it's been, it's been a, a wonderful time working with you, Tanya. So thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. We can have a quick round of applause. I'll allow it. Okay, and with that, I will ask uh, the clerk to call the roll. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, committee on general welfare, resolution 740, chair Levin. Aye. Lander. Aye. Brainoso. Aye. Torres. Aye. Traeger. Aye. By vote of five in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, item has been adopted by the committee. So we'll keep the roll open for a few moments uh, for other members. But again, thank you all for being here. And Tanya, thank you so much for all the wonderful dedication to the work of this committee. Thank you.